Hi again, everyone. This is your weekly update for Friday, February 7th, 2020. So I am up here in the office because, hey, that's where I spend most of my time anyway. And I wanted to show you what I've been spending the last four hours on. So that's it right there. I have printed about 15,000 price tags in different shapes and sizes over the last couple of hours here this afternoon. And this is just a small snippet of what we will have come spring. And this week I also finished up the PowerPoint for Tom Dayton's seminar on vines, which is next Saturday, February 15th. We're almost full for that one. So if you want to sign up, please do that right away. And speaking of seminars, I think it's about time for me to get off my rear end because I've been here too long and head down to the seminar room because I want to show you a project that me and Melanie finished this winter. And before I show you the project, which is behind me anyway, I uh, wanted to mention that Jason Vale from the Seacrest Arboretum will be here tomorrow, Saturday, February 8th, to talk about the past, the present, and the future of the Arboretum. Okay, here it is. We took a very drab, ugly red wall, which I will show you afterwards, and painted it black, and then we added a vinyl sticker uh, for the Outbarn Market. And we added some color and 3D elements with these very large silk sunflowers. So let me know in the comments below if you like the change. I also heard there is some progress in the back greenhouse. So let's head back down there and see what they've done. So I trekked through the snow and made it back here. Behind me, there's at least 125 bags of Better Grow Potting Soil that is produced in Millersburg here in Ohio. It looks like we're about to start some major potting efforts. Then on that other bay of the greenhouse, there's many more cuttings, some small azalea starts, and it looks like a whole new stock of New Guinea hanging baskets. So you may think to yourself, why this potting soil? Why is this potting soil so great? Well, it contains actino iron. The iron not only is a great supplement for the plants, but it actually helps suppress root diseases as well. And the greenhouse I was just in is all the way in the back of the property right near our irrigation lake. Okay, well, I made it back up to the office. And before I go today, I did want to share four brand new perennials for 2020. These all have food names. One is even Shrimps on the Barbie. So take a look. This very colorful St. John's wort is a great choice for those that want to attract bees and other pollinators. This showy lungwort with its pink flowers and splashed foliage is a great addition to the shade garden. This member of the Fruit Punch series of Dianthus is very showy with its hot red blossoms and silvery blue foliage growing in sun or part shade. This red hot poker is different than others with its compact habit plus red and yellow upright flowers with a tropical look. So that will be it for today. Appreciate you watching again. If you need a little cure for the spring fever and kind of sick of the Ohio snow, I would suggest to head up to the Cleveland Home and Garden Show. It is this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.